Hey, Richard Beach here with Sonic State, and today I'm with Mark from Touchmark Guitars. And uh, this is a pretty cool, exciting new product that uh, we haven't really seen before. So I'm going to get Mark, who designed the product, to give me the lowdown. Uh, can you tell us a little bit about it? Okay, thank you. Uh, essentially, what we've done is we've taken the uh, potentiometers and switches that always have existed between the pickups and the quarter inch jack and replaced them with simple touch panels. Uh, it's a uh, like a resistive. It's old. It's like the original touch panel technology. It's old school. It's not. Uh, like your smartphone, it's not a computer, it's not that. It, it is essentially a, uh, a, a digital mixer that mixes all the analog sounds of the pickup and the signals, uh, and then you, the, you uh, control the interface with the touch panels, and the touch panels are also programmable in the sense of gestures and behavior. So we have a, a USB port uh, which goes to a GUI, and our software allows you to uh, adjust all sorts of onboard settings first and get the, uh, as an example, uh, for the first time you can set the gain or volume uh, and the capacitor tone individually for each pickup so that when you switch from one pickup to another you do not get big volume shifts like you would on a t traditional five-way switch which goes single coil, double, single, double, single, and you get these huge volume shifts. Yeah. And that's why most people who have Stratocasters don't use position two and four, because <laughs> they drop, it, the volume drop just drops out. So uh, we can do it so that when you, when you slide the, the touch panel back and forth, and you're moving from one pickup to another in a gradient way, there's, there's an equal volume, unless you want it to be different. We can, you can make it so that as you go to the darker pickup, the volume actually goes up, or the brighter pickup, you can make it so the total volume actually drops down. You can do it either way, however you want to do it. So on this model here then, we've got yeah. pickup selection here and volume yeah. and tone. This, we made a little bit of a, a diagram because on the, on the software, you can set up the, the uh, configurations any way you want. You can have pickups, A, B, and C, or B, C, A, any order. You can have the sliding uh, feature down below. You can have individual discrete areas which kind of turn things on and off. Or you can have it X and Y so the entire touch panel is all a blending uh, algorithm. So here we have volume and tone, but it could be volume and volume, a, a fast volume or a slow volume. Do you understand? In other words, the, in, the, in the software setup, you set up the panel configuration yep. and all the behavior and all the onboard uh, uh, electronics, and then you save that setting and you upload it to the guitar, you unplug the USB, and now that setting is... is, is, is so, so you could have a num number of different settings depending Absolutely. on... And then just load them in from yeah, the guitar. Exactly. And presumably, if you were, uh, say, like a finger picker, it wouldn't be against possibilities to get another pad there which you could trigger with your thumb. Yes. Is that right? In, in this setup, we've, this is demonstrating uh, uh, a, an upgrade system for a Strat yeah. that does, has no modifications to the guitar whatsoever. Yeah. So you have, to, you have to unsolder the two, two audio wires and the ground. But other than that, the whole pattern and all the pockets, everything fits all of our stuff. And so this is a pure upgrade. But if, if this was built into a guitar uh, where the, the pockets and the machining was built for this, then we wouldn't have to uh, just accommodate our stuff within where the, where the potentiometers and switches used to be. In other and words, long-winded, long it works as a do-it-yourself upgrade for existing guitars and a technology that can be installed into any new production line. Which is why you're at NAMM, hopefully, to meet here. a guitar yes. company. and Yeah, brilliant. Well, let's hear it in action then. bridge pickup. And now you're hearing the middle pickup. And now it's the neck pickup. So these are discrete areas like we were describing here where it's A, B, and C. But on the gradient one, it's hard to hear with all the all the noise, but So 
what's happening is I'm, I'm just pan, almost panning gradiently from one pickup to another. And in the slide area, the change is about 20 or 30 percent if you, if you go from the middle out. And if you work from the outside in, it goes faster. Okay. So the algorithm allows you to kind of uh, have the nuance of the touch panel's uh, interface like kind of coordinated with your body language of playing where pots and switches were all put there because they had to except maybe the strat volume knob which was exactly where you needed it not because yeah. it was in the way if you wanted to strum so we have a clear strum path and and the panels are all positioned and, and designed to be integrated into your playing technique so while you're playing So I've done, that would have been just a, a, a reach down, flip a switch from position two to three. And you know, you never really guarantee that you're gonna get from two to three, sometimes it's two to four, because of the switches. And because we have the discrete areas, if you get a little lost, you just go there. And now you know where you are. So, so two questions. When are you expecting it to be ready? And, and what is the software for it like? Is that, is that close to being ready as well? Well, we built, we designed our own uh, software, uh, which will, work, you know, the ubiquitous, it'll work on all the platforms. And, uh, and then our production schedule is be in full production in four months, and then uh, be back in public at uh, uh, SummerNAM in Nashville. That's our, that's our hope in six months. Uh, to be selling. We're set to, to produce the retail version on our website, the upgrade system and that uh, within say four months and then to get the technology and the partnerships that we hope to develop here uh, for guitar makers who want to integrate this technology into their production line. And do you have any idea what the retail price is going to be yet, the, the MSRP? Yeah, um, I think a basic setup for a guitar like this would be in the 299, okay. 350. We're not going to ho hold the price point too hard because some guitars have a little bit more complication to upgrade. But that's essentially it's about a three three fifty uh, investment to upgrade the the interface. And a lot of guitars that are inexpensive have actually very nice wood, well machined, and nice frets. But they get that price point because the pickups and electronics are really, really downgraded. So what we're doing is also allowing you to upgrade your kind of moderately um, valuable guitars into something pretty playable. And um, so that's we're really happy with that idea. And then. Sorry, so pickups can change any pickups. Oh uh, yes, you can use any pickups. This is a standard single, you know, three single coils. Uh, it works with any combination of humbucker, single coil, tap, anything. It doesn't matter. It's not about. Uh, we actually, uh, the more uh, unique and custom you get with your pickups, the better our system works because we're controlling the the sound and of the pickups. We're con allowing this, the uh, pickup to be now up front, where with the very complicated pots and switches, often people would just quarter inch out to their amp and go to some digital signal processing, some DSP effect to kind of control their sound. And and just leave, I don't know, leave one pickup on or something. It just seems to be unfair to the to the venerable pickup, you know? <laughs> the venerable pickup, you know? So uh, we're about finally being able to set the pickups the way you want, get them correct, and then when you move from one to the other, really have the, the quality sound of the pickup. Come out. Okay, great. Well, Mark, thanks for chatting to me. Uh, so hopefully, touch mark system with uh, Seymour Duncan pickups on a Fender guitar, maybe at Summer Nam. You heard it here first. Cheers. <laughs>